I'm, I'm playing with uh, Kerbal Planetary Base Systems. So it's like having, um, you know, you can have colonies set up on other planets, is the idea. Uh, the next one is uh, Orbital Colony. So those ones are, I think, more for, like, planetary stations. Um, civilian population assets with stock functionality. Okay. And then I'm also playing with life, syst life support. So I have to actually give my guys, like, food and stuff. Um, and then also I'm playing with, so it's a common library. Um, so I thought I had one more installed, but maybe not. So we'll see. We'll see what uh, if this works for one. We'll see if it works, and then because uh, I don't know if they all work together, I might add more time more over time because this is a newer update to Kerbal Space Program. Um, and so we'll see. Um, so given I'm doing life support anyway, uh, I'm not going to do career because I already have it difficult enough. So season five, Kerbal Space Program, science, normal difficulty start. So we'll see, we'll see. I also might rearrange where things are on the screen, because I might be in the wrong, in, in the way um, of some stuff. So, uh, yeah, I understand the basics. It's been a while. Um, so what is, you can't really see that. So this is the life support thing. So the thing you can't see behind me. Uh, I can't move out of the way enough. Okay, so anyway, oh, because my chair's in the way too. Uh, there's a little button here, so I can bring up, so this would tell me how much life support there is on different crafts that are out there. And the idea is that they, um, I think after they run out of supplies after 15 days, then they um, then they stop they stop working. They don't die right now. I think it said that there was an option to change that. I don't really know how I would change that. Um, oh, that's cool. That might be built into the regular game. Um, okay. So let's hop into here first. So I I'm assuming it's still going to be starting out the basic same basic way. Um, Oh, and I just realized my thing didn't scroll down to the new messages. Interesting. So welcome, Wonder Sim. Also welcome, uh, Black Belt. Um, doesn't matter. Launch something. Yeah. Okay. All right. So sorry I didn't notice that. There was a little thing saying there were new messages, but it didn't automatically scroll down. Yeah. Uh, I'm still getting used to. I'm still getting used to that. Okay. So we're gonna just call this guy. We we haven't built a thing yet. Let's add a thing. Let me know if the music is too loud. Um, all right, so this is just the basic pod. I believe we just need to get our starting out science. Um, so do we have any science things we can add on to it? Science is probably this thing, right? Yes, okay, so we can add goo onto it. I can't drag it like I used to do, that's weird. Add part to catalog. I don't know. Oh, okay, so I click it once, this thing, this is probably some extra component thing I can do. Um, we're going to just add it here. So I think we're just going to start out by doing some basic science without actually ever leaving the launch pad. So that sounds good. Um, fill. Build a crew. Crew with... I guess maybe automatically populated in there. Okay, let's, uh, let's launch that. So this is the... Uh, science one. We're not going to come up with clever names because right now we're just doing some basic science on the ground. So, so far, nothing's crashed. So far, so good. Um, yeah, so I guess uh, I might be slightly in the way of our dudes. So let's move me over. Uh, and otherwise, that might be fine. So let's go, let's go here. Okay. Um, so... We're going to um, zoom in. We're going to right click, observe the goo. We're going to keep the science. So this is transmitting it. I think it's still just basic game stuff, but we're gonna keep it because we're gonna be able to recover the vessel easily. We're gonna do, uh, I want a crew report. There we go, found it. And then also we're going to EVA and do Take a surface sample, uh, EVA report, and oh, they also have a little, uh, in the new version of the game, the little dudes, they actually have their own personal parachutes. I don't know exactly how well that works. Um, oh, safe to deploy. So this is letting me know if his parachute is safe to deploy. So that might be interesting later on. Uh, we're going to get into the thing. So what is that? B, board. 
and then uh, so the other thing to, that I wanted to point out in case you didn't catch my plans um, I know I want to recover the vessel is that a thing? <laughs> um, it's been a little bit a while we want to recover oh wait, we're up here recover the vessel so we got some signs. Okay, um, my plan is to have as little deaths as possible. No deaths, possibly, if we can. Uh, we'll see. So he has succeeded. Let's go to our research. Um, so now we could do. We have uh, tw fifteen. So we could do a couple different things. So let's get uh, better engines. Um, I do want to get to uh, like unmanned stuff, but that's obviously going to be a little bit further down the road. Um, Mission one, yeah, no explosions. Uh, so let's see, is this um, space exploration? I wonder where unmanned stuff starts in here. I guess we'll get to there. What does this do? This is uh, some more science things. Okay, let's let's do research that. Uh, this is better parachutes. Some of the stuff I don't know, like if it's things I added. Oxygen generator. That sounds like that's from. Um, my life support stuff, yeah. Okay, so there's a bunch of handy stuff here for life support. Um, that I'll have to eventually figure out. Life support tanks and so on. But we're not really leaving anywhere yet. But we do want to get down to the science. So I think that that might be... Oh, we can't buy anyway. Okay, I think we're... Yeah, everything else is too expensive. So let's go back. Let's do uh, step two. So we're going to take the same thing. Uh, but we're going to add a thermometer. On the side. Um, and, um, it might be it actually, because we can still do the thermometer in the same spot, um, without moving anywhere. So let's, let's do that. Uh, so this will be science too. Why not? And then we're going to save it. And then I'm assuming it's already put somebody in. If not, we'll come back. Do, 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 do. Um, yes, somebody's inside. Good. Uh, and I'm guessing all the different experiments that we can do um, haven't uh, changed at all, but let's attempt. Yeah, okay, so zero. Um, so this actually gives a tiny, tiny bit. Okay, let's do EVA. Um, let's do EV report. Nothing. And service sample. Uh, not, not very much at all. Um, but I can walk him off of the platform. Um, Somewhere. I don't remember exactly where you have to go. Let's uh, reset the experiment. Let's have him uh, space like Okay. And go that way. Is there a sprint? Yes, shift. So I'm going to try and go off this platform. I forget all the different steps. Like, you know, there's different. There was a mod pack that would let me, like, have check mark boxes for all the different things you could do. Um, but I don't remember what they were. Can I speed up time here? No, that zooms in. Okay. So I can speed up, yeah. So I'm gonna try here. Um, Surface sample, no, it's still the same. All right, let's try going further this way. Uh, Surface sample, no, it's still the same. So this is the uh, surface sample from launch pad. Okay, so let's try leaving this this lower down part here. Maybe this will help. Maybe this will be different. Uh, surface sample. Yes, there we go. Nine science. This is uh, just from the planet. And then EVA report. And deploy a parachute. <laughs> um, I think that's it, right? Crew report. And now I can recover him. Uh, I think that would be separate then. I have to also then recover the, the actual thing over there. Yeah, this is just the science for that. And then I have on the launch pad recover so that I got a little bit of science from that okay good so now we have now we have a little bit more we can grab some more things so here is the um, fertilizer tanks and all kinds of crazy stuff for my uh, my life support stuff uh, what we're gonna be doing is just launching up trying to get somewhere slightly different on the planet and then coming back down um, let's go ahead and go into here and now we're gonna work on the science three so we're just trying to do the initial experiments, um, but then also not blow up is the plan. 
So let's, um, I want to, oh, I don't remember all the buttons, but this will work. So we're going to have that on both sides. We're going to try and make this thing more, um, be more stable in the air. All right, so we have that. We're going to add parachutes. They're probably somewhere. I can search, actually. Um, all right, good. Radio parachutes. Or the top one. Let's do top one, I guess. So now we have a parachute on top. Uh, we're not going to be transmitting, so we don't have to worry about antennas. Um, let's get rid of the search. And we want... Um, so that'd be a solid fuel one, so we can't really control it. Um, but in theory, it might, we might be able to get up enough. Um, like, we can't change the, because it's solid fuel, I think. I can't. Actually, what are our different options here? I'll use this one. That one seems like it might get us further. <laughs> and we, we don't have a budget, so let's try this. So hopefully nobody will die as a result of this. The idea is, oh, uh, right, we need to, do we have decouplers? Is that a thing? Because that might, um, that might blow up still. Okay. So our staging, we're going to um, launch. I'm assuming the stuff on the bottom, it's been a little while. I'm assuming the stuff on the bottom triggers first. <laughs> so we're going to do that, make them go. Fins, right. Fins are an excellent idea. I'm curious on the, um, on the delay for my response to your, que to your question there. If you can uh, let me know uh, how fast that was. Because now we, I, I believe we're not on FTL anymore. So I'm curious how quickly I was able to respond. I saw it right as soon as it showed up in, in this chat program. Okay. So that, uh, I guess I should make sure. Uh, five seconds? Okay. So it's not, I mean, I think it's worth it. All right. So we have fins. That might help. Um, if you haven't already, give that follow button. Oh, that, that's my bot. My bot is in a different color in this program. Uh, question test. Do you see this? Yes, I see this. Um, and so what I'm curious, on, yeah, so I probably see it right away. Um, but then you don't see the response. Like, it's a slightly delayed. Um, I guess the fins technically should be probably lower down, right? That's how things work. So we're going to put them down here. We're just trying to get up in the air a little bit. Um, and then landing somewhere else in the water, maybe, you know, different options, things like that. Um, so we have all of our science we can do, I do believe. Let's double check. Uh, oh, we have a, uh, one of these guys, pressure thing. Let's add a pressure thing, um, onto the ship. Um, I wonder if I cover up the ladder, if that will be a problem. I guess it's not a huge deal if it's slightly off center. So, or like, because this thing isn't real heavy. No, it's it's real light. So I think that having just one of these might be okay. So we'll try that. We'll see if it if it's that probably won't cause a lot of stabilization issues. Okay, so save and launch. So no deaths is the plan. So what I want to get to is unmanned because I want to be able to test out designs with no dudes inside of it in case they all die. Okay. Actually launching. Okay, I have to remember how this works. Throttle up is, uh, so space bars go. Throttle up. Is shift. Got it. Okay. And three, two, one, go. So lots of fuel. Um, we want to aim for kind of like the water. So I, is, okay, yeah. So we're going to try kind of aim. Oh, SAS on. There we go. No, I really can't aim at all. I can't. I'm trying to shift to one side. Is this uh, gonna blow up? Oh, I'm out of fuel. Okay, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get rid of that. Let's do an EVA report. Or let's do a not EVA report. <laughs> We're gonna do a goose sample. Because I have two of them. Right? Um, so the idea is I'm, I'm gonna survive. I only have one of these things for some reason. But I do have two of these. And we're going to do a crew report. And uh, I don't think I'm high enough in the air to do an EVA, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, what does this down arrow do? Uh, cannot transmit science. Okay, that's fine. 
So we're, let's look at uh, how this thing works. I forget now. So I'm actually just with that one rocket. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not to the point where I'm actually like up in space or whatever, but um, I'm doing pretty good. Um, so what I don't know is I'll, I'll wait till he gets a little bit further out here. I'll warp to that. And then I just want to double check that there's not other science I could be doing. Like, is this a different science? I didn't look at what the name of this one was. Um, can we EVA here? <laughs> no, I, I don't want to risk it. Um, so let's do a... Um, let's do a crew report. Okay, so we have to... Alright, so we have to ditch that if we wanted to. So we're going to keep that. Or we can transmit it for the... Oh, we don't have a transmitter. Okay, we if we had a, if we had an antenna, then we could transmit it. Okay, alright. Anyway, um, this I think... Let's let's take a look at the pressure here. 10 is pretty good. We'll see if it's any different when I'm on the surface. So I think we're just going to head down. There's... I want to point retrograde. That's where I'm falling to, I do believe. Uh, I'm not going to hit, I don't think I'm going to have, I guess, I guess I could have the fiery, you know, burning up stuff. Uh, so, Wonder Sim, I responded to your question. Can you confirm that you saw my response? <laughs> I assume so. Um, okay. So, uh, I'm going to try, I'm going to save this one for in the water, I think. Because I'm assuming that, well, okay, here we go, here we go. I can observe the goo again. Upper atmosphere. Okay, so I think that's actually a different one. Uh, we're not speeding up time, good. So we're waiting until we get to... I would like to know the specs on this. Um, so this is the auto-deploy. Oh, I see. Okay, risky. Awesome. Okay, good. That's what I wanted to see. Oh, and it's going to show up in here anyway. All right, so when it's not risky... Yeah, pretty immediate. All right, good. All right, well, then this works out pretty well. I mean, I don't think anybody that's on Twitch has come and seen me, so... I'm assuming I'm streaming on there. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Once this thing changes to safe, I will deploy, and everybody will be safe. Looks like we're in the water, so that's even better. Um, space is going to be deploy, but don't do it too early. Otherwise, everybody will die. Well, Jebediah will die. So we're flying down. Oh, actually, we did actually get... I forgot the way this thing works. So I could have probably done EVA. Um, I was high enough up, I think. All right, so I can deploy here, I do believe, but we'll go down to uh, 10,000. Okay, deploy. Everything seems good. Good. Awesome. Oh, I can cut the... That's interesting. I didn't know that was a thing. Um, I would like... Yeah, go away. Thank you. Uh, can you rename the astronauts? Um, I don't think so. No. Um, I tried moving to Twitch, but it says I need to validate... Yes, I did. I... Um, I wanted, I was worried about the trolls on, on Twitch, so I've, I've said you have to validate your email address, and I have, like, auto-modding turned on, um, so I'm not sure exactly, exactly how strict it's going to be. <laughs> um, but, one thing I actually noticed is that the chats that you're typing in aren't going across. That was supposed to happen. So I think that that's one thing that isn't working right, is that I was expecting things you type in, in, uh, in Mixer to go over to Twitch, so... I may have to adjust that, but so far so good. No deaths yet. We we haven't landed, but I think we're we're gonna land okay. So I have to figure that out. Um, why um, why it isn't chatting to both? If I type in here, oh at least I don't. Hmm. At least I don't see it on mine. I have it. I have it also open here. So we'll I'll see I'll see in uh, after the fact if that really. If I type here, okay, I see that. Okay, so my, yeah, it's not relaying stuff back and forth. And in fact, it's not typing test two to Twitch at all. So I think that maybe it's not connected um, to that. And I'm still streaming to it, but it's not like, it's not able to relay the stuff back and forth between this chatbot. So maybe it's possible I won't see I have to look here to see chats from there. Could be. 
Although, no. No, because it came in through there. Maybe. That's three. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I, right now it's just not connected to that, st that stream at all. Like, so my chat program is only Mixer, I guess. Okay, whatever. Yeah! Okay. Awesome. So we've landed here. Auto-saving. Perfect. Uh, let's do a EVA. Uh, we're going to do a surface sample and a crew port. Uh, surface sample EVA report. That's what I was trying to think of. Okay. Three seconds. Yeah. And get back in. B is for board. And do a crew report here. Or no, because we probably have the other one. That's probably more valuable anyway. Um, okay, and so from here, I'm curious. I didn't notice. Um, oh, there we go. So this thing, it's. Uh, oh, yeah, so he's actually starving, but the mission was pretty quick. But I didn't add any food, so he's starving uh, for a while. But he, I mean, you can, you can go 15 days without. Um, and I think the, the orange guys in their special suits, I think that they can actually uh, kind of ignore some of this. Um, I think is the idea. But okay, let's recover the vessel. I don't know, let's do a uh, thermostat on this guy. And then we have crew, uh, these two things are have stuff in them. I believe that one already has stuff. So recover vessel. Lots of science. Um, yeah, 62, all right. I got came back. Okay. So now, um, welcome, JJ Bonzig. Bad day. Oh, no. It's not good. Um, we have more science. We can, all right, let's do science. We're going to go the, the lots of science route. Um, so we have radial decouplers. Uh, I'm also streaming on Twitch, JJ Bonzi. And nobody's died so far. You haven't missed any deaths. Uh, so 20. So it looks like I can't do anything else yet. So let's go ahead and work on Science 4. Yes, I'm multi-streaming right now. Uh, my chat, actually, there's supposed to be a chat link between them, but that's not working for some reason right now. So the chats aren't relaying between them, but in theory, in the future, that will happen. Um, I don't know. Okay, so Science 4. Um, we want to get... Um, let's see. So let's remove these fins for now. Yes, you're here on Twitch. And you are prime. And you are modded. Yeah, now you're now you're modded in my other stream. Okay. Here we go. Um, okay. So I have those guys there. That's all for... Oh, I guess I should do heat shield. Because we are actually... Um, how big is this guy? Not real big. Because uh, we're actually now potentially going to get high enough. What I don't... I want to make sure that I... Where is my decoupler? Decoupler is there. I think I have the heat shield in the right spot. <laughs> yeah, pretty sure heat shield is in the right spot. So this is uh, just to get me back to the planet is kind of what I'm thinking. Um, I don't have unmanned stuff yet, so that's another thing I want to definitely get going. Um, I guess we can put an antenna. Hello, John Fowl. Welcome to the stream. Um, let's do, let's do this one. I wish there was a way to snap it, like, so it's right here. Uh, snowing in, what? Uh, snowed in BB? Oh, I see. Black belt, gotcha. Um, okay, science. We want to do experiment storage unit. After developing the old blah, 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 blah. A uh, couple scientists created to, to help carbonites bring science, valued science back to carbon uh, while avoiding the hazards of re-entry. Interesting. I think that, oh, maybe that was already existing thing. All right. We want to, 
attach the science to junior. So what I don't know for sure. Oh, that's the decoupler. Okay. Yeah, this is in the wrong. Okay, so I want to do this. I want to attach this here, and then the heat shield, and then this, and then this. Okay. Um. Jumping on, okay, I can call now, so going, so, okay, all right. Um, okay, so we have all those things. Um, my, my goal is not to die. I don't want anybody to die. Let's find the decouplers, they're somewhere. I thought I had a real decoupler. Oh, is this not, oh, I do have the unmanned thing. Ooh. Uh, we'll make this, yeah, fins. I'm going to add fins. I, I did want to add um, more power. I wanted a radial decoupler. I guess I don't have, I thought I just researched that, but maybe I didn't research it yet. So maybe. Um, and then this is all the life support. I added life support stuff. So they have recyclers and like, but this is going to be a short mission. So I'm not worried about it. <laughs> All right. Um, let's add, so we're going to add fins. I guess I don't have the decoupler I was looking for. So what I might do, uh, antenna, uh, just, yeah, I added an antenna up top to send back reports in case I need to do that. Uh, we have little fuel tanks. Um, I guess what I could just do um, a tall rocket. We'll see if that's a good idea. Um, let's do. Um, kind of. I guess I only have really small fuel tanks. Um, yeah, yeah. I blame. Uh, I blame John. <laughs> All right, so we have that guy on there. Um, I could add more of those. I don't have a way to detach them at all. I mean, I guess I could add it just below it. I don't know. We'll see how that works. So let's get another decoupler. It's somewhere. I found it. I kind of expected that to attach slightly differently. Um, these guys are small. Let's add this on the bottom. Um, will this will this work well? I don't, I'm not sure. So we have that, decouple, that, decouple, land. Okay. Um, we're going to add fins. Let's add the fins and try to line it up with the goo canisters. So I don't know, should I add fins also here? I guess, I mean, now I weigh heavier, so I don't know if this thing will get me as high as I want. Okay, so this is the Science 4, I think is what we, I don't think we're on Science 5 yet. I think I already incremented the number. So that's the Science 5. We're going to do the Science 5 test first. Um, so let's remove this. We're going to add this. Attach, oh no, I can't do it. Can I, if I get rid of this? Okay. Oh, now it's really screwed. <laughs> now it doesn't know what to do. Oh, I see, I have to, okay, all right. The first thing I have to, okay, I bring that there. This thing can go away, then this attaches. So let's see if this thing will launch as expected. So this is an unmanned uh, little probe thing. I don't know if I how much control I have over it, but we'll see. Um, so there's no parachute on this. So budget-wise, this is I guess I had a parachute. Uh, somewhere I had a checklist of things to yeah right <laughs> yeah yeah that's right. There's, I remember that checklist. It's good times. Um, one of these things is parachutes. I guess I oh, I do have a heat shield in there. Uh, it's on the bottom of all that. All right, so parachute. I guess we'll do radial parachutes because I don't know. 
Um, so let's do uh, two. So we're going to move that down. Okay, so now this is the science test four to see if this thing uh, is safe. I think there's a heat shield in there underneath the science junior. Okay, uh, throttle up. Three, two, one. Scotty, go. <laughs> okay, it does go up. It's a positive sign. So I'll just let this thing burn without changing the direction at all. Um, and then we'll see how well it works. So we, we aren't going as high as we were the first time. I also don't have SAS on Let's do that. I think it's a good thing. Um, so we're about to switch to the other rocket. We'll see how high we get. Okay. Oh. Ah, I have no fins on this part, and so it doesn't work as well. Okay. I'm guessing it's the fins. Um, so what I want to do is, oh, that's not quite what I want to do. Eventually it'll run out of juice. <laughs> that's why it's unmanned, right? Um, so then this is heading down. I do have parachutes. Um, are they, oh, they are safe. Uh, can I, so I believe I can't do any science without people. Oh, maybe I can't. Interesting. Okay. I kind of figured I, without people, I couldn't do any science-y things. Uh, that's all I have, actually, I guess. There's not really... Um, yeah, there's no different controls. Um, what did I miss? Someone has to go? Okay, yeah, gotta run. All right, see you, BSM. Um, so apparently I was able to do this. I didn't think that this would work without people, but I guess I guess it works. Um, I don't know why they're yellow. Maybe because they're, I didn't have enough. So this might blow up. But at least it's not going to damage the building. We'll see. Uh, is my sword here? Yes, you have a sword. Sorry, I just noticed that because I can't. I have to watch a couple things. Um, so we'll see if this thing blows up or not. So I'll add the fins and we'll see. Okay, it's green. Okay. Um, I will add fins and then see um, how that changes things. But we potentially just got some science if, the thi if this thing lands and I can recover it. So that's good. So the more unmanned stuff I can do and still get science, um, it's safer for my for my dudes. And I also don't have to worry about life support because now I have to do life support systems. Um, so like the long missions when they're out there, we'll need to have enough food and then I need to probably develop, I don't know how to dock yet, so that's probably gonna be a problem. But I need to, you know, either have enough food and then come back when I'm running out, or, um, you know, come up with, uh, you know, good ways of bringing resupplying missions. So, um, I'm going to speed up a little bit. There's no people in here, so I'm not running a risk of. And I think in the newer versions of the game, I think they've kind of fixed this a little bit, so it's not as bad. But we'll, we'll speed it up a little bit. I don't know exactly where the surface is. I guess we're far from the surface, maybe. Uh, you could hire SpaceX. Yeah, right. Yeah. There's actually some mods that are like, like, Kerbal X or yeah. You know, there's lot, there's lots of different mods out there. I figured that some of them sounded cool, but it sounds like a little bit they overlap, so I didn't want to. Like mix up too many different mods that might over like conflict with each other. All right, dumble up. Let's go a little slower. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming I can't do anything else here. I can hibernate. Oh, there's no. I also didn't have any batteries, <laughs> so there's all sorts of things that didn't work with this thing. But we can recover the vessel. See if we get the science junior stuff. Yes. Okay. Good. Got a bunch of signs from that. Um, let's see. Um, well, let's just before we worry about spending stuff, we just want to add fins, and see if this design will work. So we want fins. Add fins into about the same spot. 
if we can. Uh, four of them. So I'm hoping that this will allow it to um, to fly better in the second stage. Okay, so let's try this. Science, science four, and go to launch. Bad batteries, but that's right. All right, throttle up and go. So so far so good. It's not doing anything weird because I added the fins. So we'll see if switching stages uh, is still okay. After this guy runs out. Okay, and switching. Okay, yeah, so those fins are important. <laughs> if I, oh, there we go, we're still gonna freak out. It's not as bad. Oh, SAS isn't on. I don't know if that's if I can really SAS anyway. Uh, what if you point the other way? What was it? Control is throttle down. Okay, so SAS is important, is what you're saying. I deployed the parachutes. Well, I guess the yeah, other early enough. So I can do the science junior in the water. <laughs> yeah, okay, so SAS on. We'll see if that changes things. I'll use the same design. We'll see if SAS needs to be on uh, earlier on. And I'll add batteries. Batteries, batteries, and, and SAS. How close are we? So this is, should be zero is, is the bottom. <laughs> yeah. We're not killing anybody this time, though. We're, we're, going, we're going unmanned because we're very responsible uh, Space Command people. I mean, that's if I want to orbit. Uh, probably, I mean, yes, I, that might help it just in general, possibly. We'll see. In the water. Observe the goo. Sounds good. Recover the vessel. More science. All right. So we're getting there. Science 4 is... Science 4 test is... <laughs> is doing a good job. So now, we're going to add an antenna. I don't think we need an antenna, but we're going to add an antenna. And it's not really in the red spot. I don't think. It's really hard to. Is there a locking to the. Oh, no. Good enough. Okay. Um, and then we wanted something else batteries. Let's add um, two batteries there and there. Um, let's add some other experiments just in case we can do them. Let's do some thermometers and some barometers. Even though this thing opens up, I don't think it actually interferes with with that. Let's do some goo canisters. Yeah, times four sounds awesome. <laughs> Lots of sciencey things. Okay, great. Uh, it's, I'm sure it's gonna work fine. <laughs> so SAS on, throttle up, and go is, is the, the order. And go. So I think once it gets to 10,000 is when I started to work on the angling back in the day. So I might do the same thing. Um, I don't have, I don't, I don't think I have as much control when I'm working on, working on these guys, uh, like the unmanned stuff. In fact, I can't seem to change anything at all. Right now. All right, are you going to freak out again? Yes. Interesting. Um, we can't really see the number up there. Oh yeah, can't see that stuff up there. Okay, I'll uh, I'll adjust it on our descent. Okay, and we're out of engines. Oh, we're, we're going to a new place. This is good. Uh, let's point retrograde. If that will even work. Um, yeah, might need to adjust my overlays. That's true, because you probably want to see some of that stuff up there. Good point. 
Um, Alright, so while we're up here... Oh, that's a battery. Hold still. Um, observe this guy. I can deploy my parachutes soon. Um, so we've observed that. We've done that. When we get in the water, we've already done all the other stuff. Yes, yeah, so I couldn't really control at all on that first part. And then the second part, I, I mean, either way, I don't really have any control. And I don't know if that's because it's unmanned or if it's just because I'm using the type of rockets I'm using. So we'll add in some new rockets and decouplers if we're able to. Um, we'll see. But first, we'll recover this guy, get some new science. So I'll be playing this probably more often. Um, I don't know exactly how often or what the schedule will be, but I'll be playing this because I'm, I'm having fun. Okay, so now we're in the water. Let's double check this. I don't know how much of that we already have stuff for, but we can we can give things a try. Okay, so we already have that one. We don't have to worry about that. Okay, let's recover the vessel. Yeah, lots of science. Okay, done. Uh, research. So what was this? This is the decouplers that I was looking at but didn't, didn't get yet. Okay, and then we also have more rockets that will be very handy. And we have uh, 29 remaining. I'm assuming this stuff is too expensive. Yes. Um, this stuff is too expensive. Okay, good. So we're done with researching. So now we can tweak this design. Um, so this is still just science for test. Um, so what we want to do is not that. Let's try to do um, decouplers and stuff like that. I don't know if we have struts yet, so we can, we'll get there. So we're going to have four of these attached here. And what are our options? Actually, now that we have different fuel tanks, let's actually ditch this. So our science for manned thing isn't really going to be doing much. <laughs> so but we'll come back to it. So this is liquid fuel, which is what these tanks are. Um, and the thrust is, okay, I see the numbers now. All right, we'll just do this one, the swivel. Um, all right, and then we want to add fins on here. Basic fins. And yeah, I was, I was trying to remember where the heat shield was hooked into that. And then we're going to add these guys. Okay, well, that's fine. Right there is great. Um, we have, oh, let's, oh, maybe we should go with these. <laughs> let's attach these guys. Let's just get it up there, and we'll see how it works. I would like you to attach. How is that positioning? That's pretty good. That's worse. <laughs> Okay, I think that's fairly good, maybe? We're not, uh, I mean, it's unmanned, so now do we have struts? I'm assuming that's how I would spell it. Oh, well, we do like uh, these guys, though. Okay. So I believe I don't have struts yet, so I, I, won't, I won't get that. Um, okay, is there anything else I want to do on here? I already have batteries, I already have a bunch of other things. I do want to adjust these guys a little bit more. So let's go um, the big engines, right? Decouple, little engine, get rid of it, and land. Okay, so that's all good. We're going to go ahead and, uh, so the test is going to be, well, maybe we'll, okay, so this is a Science 5 um, robot. 
So the, the science, so I haven't had robot on the end if it's unmanned. How's that? <laughs> Safe. I don't know. Go. So SAS on. Throttle up. Go. Uh, SAS on. Throttle up. I don't have any fins on this thing, so we'll see if this works. So it's a little bit, you're in a little bit of a rotation. A little more rotation. Once we get up to 10,000, if we get that far, we will uh, attempt to um, the bank. I'm guessing this thing is telling me that I'm not going to be able to really control it at all. It's going out of control. But we'll see what happens if we just just let this ride it. So can we can we bank? Oh my goodness! Wow, that's a lot of. Uh... <laughs> okay, good. Enough. Okay. Um... Okay. Uh, all right. So I'm still going. I'm gonna throttle down a little bit. I would like to point. Somewhere. <laughs> I wanna. Uh, I'm trying to figure out which way to angle things. Alright. Alright. I'm in space. Let's cut out the engines. What is that? What's, what's, cut, what's cut the engines? The other, the other button. There's some button that's cut the engines. <laughs> okay. So, way out there. Let's add a maneuver. I gotta remember how this all works. This is still unmanned, so I don't really know how much of this is really going to work, but... Yeah, space music. So that one... Okay, so this is orbiting. Uh, it's a burn... of zero, so it doesn't know. Point to the maneuver. So this is an orbit. I don't know how long the burn is, so it's hard to know, like... Um, if I'll have enough to get back, but again, this is unmanned. So if it doesn't get back, it has an antenna and some battery. So, um, so I burned. That, that was too much power uh, without angling at all, because I couldn't really angle. I don't think. But so far so good. Let's go ahead and my maneuver's in a weird spot, but maybe that's um, that's fine. It's all good. I can't point to the maneuver node. Possibly because I'm unmanned. Let's... If I give it a little bit of juice, will that allow it to point to the maneuver node? Yeah, okay. It's gonna be a, only a 20 second burn. Okay. So you're pointing the maneuver node. It's gonna be a 7 second burn once I actually get there. Um, so that seems doable. Um, let's warp to nearly the maneuver. I can't really tell where the maneuver is. <laughs> it's not really on my line. So I don't really know what, what that is about. We're going up this one, so we can at least... No. Oh, that's not what I want. Okay, there we go. I want to warp to here. There we go. So we'll see. What I want to do is get an orbit, do some science, send it back, maybe, and then uh, and then see if we can land. We're still unmanned, so we don't have to worry about people dying. It's a three-minute um, thing, so let's... What is it? Is X kill the engines? Yes. Okay. Uh, now it's a 21-second burn. That's weird. Okay. So go. Did we get closer? I mean, really, if I get any sort of orbit, then that's going to be fine. I don't really care what it is. Okay. So, not hitting spacebar. <laughs> In fact, where's the staging? <laughs> Where did staging go? Okay. Apparently, there's no staging here. I don't know. Oh, maybe because I'm not in this view. Okay. Uh, so what I want to do is uh, safe, t 
add in some safety nets in case I hit spacebar. Uh, it's like on, on Apollo 13 where they were putting like sticky notes on stuff. Okay, so we're gonna burn. Oh, there's a whole thing about like burning partway before the thing. I'm just gonna burn it. And once the once the it changes, indicating that I'm in orbit, I'm going to kill the engines. We're almost out of fuel. Okay, we're out of fuel. So what do we have? <laughs> Let's get rid of this maneuver. Don't press the space button. Okay. So it's going to it's gonna land. Unfortunately, we we didn't we weren't able to do an orbit. Uh, but we probably have um, some different science we can do. So let's observe the goo. Um, so we can transmit uh, or keep it. I think we can. I'm, I think we'll be able to re-enter. So let's go ahead and do that. Actually, we probably can do both. So that's going to keep it. This one. The music has the music changed. Are we now orbiting? No. Uh, we're going to transmit this one. going to observe this. This one we'll keep, because we only have one of them. Um, this guy, we will log a temperature and transmit that. Science, yeah! Um, and then, I think the other one, this one, we will log a temperature and keep it. Don't we have? I think we had uh, some other device too, didn't we? <laughs> Wasn't there like a barometer thing we had down here, or did I not attach it? I guess I don't see one. There's the batteries. Was it under the batteries? <laughs> We can get rid of, uh, get rid of some shit. Okay. We've gotten rid of that big thing. Yeah, I guess I don't have, um, I thought I had the other experiment. We want to close the doors. Okay, excellent. Will I, will I be able to re-enter, you think? Should I just transmit stuff? Yeah, that's fine. I'm kind of tempted to just transmit the science and not worry about re-entering. What's the, let's review the data. I mean, that would be a loss of some, um, but then we don't have to worry about re-entering. Um, What's your guys' vote? I think I'm, I'm leaning towards transmitting the data back and then not worrying about um, not worrying about trying to worry about having them come back. Hmm. I'll transmit. Transmitting is safe, yes. I like it. Hopefully I have enough battery. Not enough, okay, well, there we go. That, that answers our question. Does this, is it still inoperable? So I didn't transmit it, I ran out of battery, and uh, <laughs> now it's screwed. Okay, great, what's this? Oh, I have debris. Um, okay, so that didn't work. Um, I, so I guess let's try to land it. Um, Or, or it's an issue of... No, it's the battery. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, I guess we want to warp till it... We're in... Starting to orbit. Or starting to land. We don't have any controls. I don't think, because we have no battery. Like, I don't have the, any maneuvers or anything here to, like, tell me... Um, anything. So we'll see. Because <laughs> it, it's out of juice. 
I mean, we got a bunch of science back transmitter. But I think because it's unmanned and on a battery, I can't, I don't have any controls really. Wow, that's really bright. That was promising. Okay. Yeah, I think I broke this. Um, it's locked. But I tried to transmit, but then couldn't. I wonder if I then, if I land though, and I recover the vessel, I wonder if that will recover the, the science or not. I guess we'll see. Um, I should uh, deploy. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's slow down top. <laughs> deploy the parachutes. Safe. Can I not deploy because we're out of battery? Hold on. Let's, uh... <laughs> Space Center. Tracking station. You're in flight. Okay, cancel. Um... Yeah, transmitting wasn't safe. Right. Uh, okay, I want to resume flight. I don't know why I can't deploy parachutes. <laughs> and I can't leave this and jump back. Like, I used to do a thing where I could, it would bug out and I have to jump back to the other thing. So it's safe to deploy. Will they auto-deploy if they reach... I think that might be what this is set to. <laughs> So we'll see if they auto deploy once they get to a thousand. Uh, solar panels. If we have, I don't think we have solar yet. Okay, so they didn't auto deploy. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. Well. Live and learn, right? We lived. Uh, recover. No, uh, we want to. Um, Go to the space center. So we have more science though, because we transmitted stuff back. Oh man, my my stream's already already over. I keep on playing. All right, anyway, so we get, we did get some science. Let's look at our science. We'll we'll do some sciencey things before. So this we cannot afford quite well. We're so so close to affording it, uh, but we can't. Um, so I have to do yeah. We don't have enough to add anything to it yet. So I'll have to uh, probably tomorrow's stream. Um, we'll have to adjust it a little bit. Um, I'm not sure exactly how to change it because we did get pretty high up there. Maybe I'll maybe I need to try to bank or, or I could send somebody up. Maybe it's an issue of I can't really control it when it's unmanned. Let's uh, let's look at the part and see what it says. Uh, Sputnik offers the ultimate solution in crew safety, a lightweight sphere employed with a remote receiver to relay control inputs from the ground to the craft. It carries no crew at, uh, at all, thus it keeps them perfectly safe. Blah, blah, blah. This device uh, does require electrical power to operate, however it will cease to function in the, if the power runs out. The built-in batteries should keep it running for about 10 minutes. Okay. So when I was launching, I don't know why I couldn't, it was hard to control. Um, so what I'm not sure on is if, like, the SAS and stuff like that, and being able to, like, actually control it when I'm flying, I don't know if that is, um, if that's affected by, um, by not having a person. But we can add fins. And I'll add this on just so I don't forget. So this might be good. Because then that might give me some more controls for actually adjusting when we're flying. Um, and then also, before I forget, we should add on the other stuff. So this is the thing we were missing. Uh, so this is the, we'll save that. Uh, that'll be the end of the stream. Thank you everybody for stopping by.